Job reveals the case for refuge, vignette 22. In the book, Baffled to Fight Better, Oswald Chamber brings up the case for Job's need for refuge. Are not my days few? Cease then and let me alone, that I may take comfort a little. Before I go whence I shall not return, even to the land of darkness and the shadow of death. That's Job chapter 10, 20 and 21. I see no way out, says Job. He lies down, not in weakness, but in absolute exhaustion. Job is not talking in petted mood, but saying that unless God will be a refuge for him, there is no way out. Death is the only thing. In crisis of life, in every crisis of life, as represented in the Old Testament as well as in the teaching of our Lord, Yeshua, this aspect of God is emphasized. God is our refuge. Yet, until we are hit by sorrow, it is the last thing we seek for God to be. I do think that we're now in a time when more people, far more people, are looking for refuge Howbeit, not so much always in God, but in other vanities. Listen how Isaiah describes our God of refuge in Isaiah forty twenty eight. Have you not known? Have you not heard? The everlasting God, Yahweh, the creator of the ends of the earth, neither faints nor is weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the weak, and to those who have no might, he increases their strength. Even the youths shall faint and be weary, and the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on Yahweh shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. If you are weary, don't give up. Wait on the Lord.